working on Sarabon was both thrilling and, and kind of scary experience, to be honest. We had great expectations coming from the players, and we had this enormous ambition build up after our previous game, which would see. From the art direction standpoint, it's like starting over, pretty much. Night City is a, is a vast place. It is vast both horizontally and vertically. It is filled with a very large variety of architecture styles. We had to make sure that all those settings look good at any hour, any second, with any LED, flashlights, neons, dynamically turned on and off at any time. For me, the critical thing was to prepare like normal, believable day and night cycle, having these two worlds like grayed out, sunburned city streets mixed with super colorful, vivid streets at night. And having that slowly blending in time was the big challenge for us. The first time I actually saw all of it come together, the bustling streets, the lights, the cars driving and flying above you, it was mind-blowing. It was an absolutely crazy experience. Then they turned RTX on and it took on a whole new level. We worked very closely with NVIDIA to bring ray tracing to the game and as we were progressing with the work we were trying a lot of approaches and at the end what we get is something that plays together with the rest of the feature very nicely. With ray tracing the whole idea of making this a world simulator gets this extra crazy boost. The first thing I'd like to point out is the shadows. When you have the whole city, you see it through the horizon, and it's all so complex. You have antennas, you have buildings, cars, people, everything is super busy. And normally, you need to do some shortcuts, and ray tracing is cutting the shortcuts. Everything is getting a perfect shadow. Another thing that I really love about ray tracing, and though I, I, I didn't really realize how important that is until I saw it, is ray trace reflections. Night City is full of reflective surfaces, glass, aluminum, metals, rain bubbles, and being able to leverage real-time ray tracing makes that experience even more convincing to the player. You can see the reflection stuff is behind you. You can see the reflections even further and further away from you. Your brain gets this extra pillow of comfort because you understand the reality better when you play. That's a huge bonus. Ray tracing visuals are further enhanced with NVIDIA DLSS. It utilizes AI accelerated rendering to maximize performance and image quality as you explore Night City. The more realistic graphics are getting, the easier it is for players to fully immerse themselves in, in the world that we're creating. So when it comes to providing games that are cutting edge, you have to use cutting edge technology. And in that way, RTX has really helped us to put this extra level of polish on our visuals.